Okay, this is a video <laughs> to demonstrate my new CB radio, which is a, um, or demonstrate it, introduce it I suppose, quick start. Um, my new CB radio, which is a Crystal DBH, um, DBH50. Now these are available uh, online, they're also available, um, I got this one at Autobahn, uh, it's an Australian CB radio, so Autobahn is an Australian chain of uh, accessory stores and um, you can see here Autobahn regularly charge 179 for this I got this one on, that was on a bit of a special um, but uh, no look it's a good thing in the past I've used a number of radios but I've also I've used um, these um, I've used these Unidens um, which are a terrific little radio for the 60 odd dollars they cost each unit or 120 in a box these are a great little radio, they're about 1 watt have a good range and um, really nice feel in your hand um, um, in a, in a customizable scan which I like that um, good little unit if someone wants a cheap unit these are excellent but anyway I've upgraded I have the um, the, uni, uh, the crystal uh, DBH50 and um, these have a die cast chassis nice heavy thing um, the whole back of it is a battery um, of course they come with a, uh, a charging cradle it's uh, pretty usual um, they come with some uh, pretty decent instructions as well which is uh, a bit of a pleasant surprise that you can actually um, you can actually follow those instructions uh, and um, what else so they, they, they have a, um, uh, a removable antenna which a lot of the better CVs have got that you shouldn't really take that off with the, with the unit running um, but um, that's the appearance of the removable antenna and you can actually fit uh, antennas to this that would also fit on, for example, a GME 6160, 6155, or a um, Uniden 85750. It's a standard type of um, of antenna fitting the SMA, um, uh, that is uh, SMA male, um, that is SMA female antenna. Anyway, it's the SMA with this exposed thread. Um, and that gives you the um, the scope to tweak the performance of these radios. That's quite a good antenna, um, but um, I've done a little, little bit better with a bit of experimenting. I found one <laughs> which is in a, uh, a telescopic one. It's about 50 centimeters long, and it actually improves the range a little bit. But you don't have to do things like that if you don't want to. Um, a good. Well, I like this unit. It um, uh, has a lot of features that you don't get on the cheaper ones. You can adjust the squelch. Um, you can uh, has nine levels of squelch. So I've got it set to a fairly sensitive type of squelch because I like listening to um, faraway signals. Um, and uh, you can also, with the scanning, for example, you can set it to delay longer when it hits a station that's uh, that's uh, broadcasting. Uh, quite often with scanning uh, on radios they only stay on long enough for you to sort of turn your head around and you can't get to the radio to see what station what channel it's on but you can set this to stay on this on the when it hits something on scan to stay on there for a good while um, and um, I mean another good feature is it has a continuously adjustable volume control now problem some people probably have with these type of units is they have like an 8 step or a 10 step volume control now if you're listening at night in a shared house so quite often the lowest volume level on this type of radio is just too loud but you can turn this one right down to whatever you like it has an FM radio as well um, you, it has a, uh, a torch um, hang on okay yeah quite a good torch um, that's your push to talk. This one tells you your um, the volts you have in it at the moment. Eight eight and a half volts there, so it's right fully charged at the moment. 
and that's your normal display. Um, oh, someone's opening a score 740. Um, shows the frequency and also the channel. You can see that there. Um, the channel. Now you, you can change that display so it simply says, uh, shows the channel number. Um, uh, so it has those two types of display. This is the more detailed display that you can get. Um, the way it normally works is you switch it on. These arrow buttons will take you down. It's just changing. It's going down 36, 35, etc. Up. Or you've just got direct input. So I can go, if I want to go to channel 2, I can go 0, 0, 2, bing. You hit, you hit 2 straight away. Okay, so you've got direct entry, another great feature of this one, I think. Um, uh, what have we got? We've got priority scanning, so you can set a channel that it's going to constantly hit during the scan. Normal scanning. Um, and there's, there's quite a bit more. I might do a second video with, with all of the features uh, in it. Um, but 5 watts... Um, and uh, which is the maximum legal power that you can have in a handheld radio. Nice heavy unit, good audio quality. Um, I've done some range tests on this and I can hit repeaters from... Uh, I'm in Canberra, I've got the Isaacs Ridge repeater here, I can hit that from 25, 30 kilometres away uh, just with the standard antenna. Um, and um, this is the kind of unit, if you had a couple of these, or, um, or, or with its transmission power, uh, I could probably hear this unit uh, on this unit from a distance of, of 10 kilometres or even more. Um, so, yeah, a good unit. Um, like, I mean, you can buy these online. Um, I bought this one online, but when I'm spending more money, I prefer to buy in a shop. Um, because it's just, it just gives me more confidence when I'm paying over a hundred dollars for something. Um, just thought I'd introduce that one. I have another antenna here that I <laughs> I just uh, got in the mail. I haven't haven't tried that one on it yet. Um, it's a very compact one that could be handy. Um, so anyway, um, like I said, I might do another video where we dive into the menu system a little bit, um, a little bit more. Anyway, that's a, a quick look at the Crystal DVH 50R which is a uh, more of a deluxe um, uh, serious type of um, uh, Australian CB radio. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.